how to get a job in a call center in the Philippines as an expat. There is an issue where we all know it, um, where you get frustrated dealing with people that aren't from your own country. Um, you know, when you get that phone call and you already hear that foreign accent, that is um, these calls coming in from Philippines, India, um, Pakistan, etc. Um, and although companies rely on this, if you imagine you're a call center trying to get new business, it's very hard for you to engage with people in the US and other countries uh, to take your call center on. As such, as an expat, it's very easy for you to approach a call center. And I say you approach because the fact is you need to market yourself to them. The job opportunity is not going to be available. You don't see an ad saying, looking for expat that can sell our business to uh, potential clients. You've got to create this opportunity. And now I will say at the same time, uh, if you get them to agree and work with you, push the fact that you want to work with them as part of the business, not as an employee, because as soon as you have that employee, you lose control over uh, the whole venture. Um, because one of the reasons we get we were getting so much business from the US is our quality was so much higher than everybody else. Um, as such, you need that control because it's your promises that these people are buying from. Um, so you want that call center to improve. You want that call center to get to the point where you're not finding contracts every week. You're taking a cut of every contract you bring in and it's growing every week. Which is also where you decide, do you take a salary or do you turn around and uh, take a percentage off every agent? that is working uh, under you um, because if you work separately but have multiple call centers and I've done it I've had uh, well they might not want to be mentioned but I've had 10 15 call centers under me um, all do different contracts different things but the one thing that you become is the central hub of everything going uh, going on, uh, be it from the client wanting to know uh, which call center is working in this area to you're feeding the data, you're feeding all the stuff that gets the call center running, even down to IT support, because some of these call centers have got poor IT support. Um, as an expat, that's something you could even learn, because um, I find that the guys I come across don't seem to invest as much time as they should do in their IT stuff. Um, it's a bit like the West where there's a huge knowledge gap um, because people learn what they need to learn and then they suddenly just say, I've earned enough to get by on. Nobody's invested in my training, so why would I invest in myself? But the reality is to get on, invest in yourself. So if you want a job in a call center, you need to go and approach them. Don't bother getting in the queues or any of that nonsense. You want to be trying to find somebody near where you live that works in a call center and find out who the key people are. You want to be going at, at least a uh, manager level. And a lot of time you can engage with the owners. Um, because if you're looking to stay in the Philippines long term, it may be a way to do it without even having a lot of funds because I know several people that work in other call centers. I know several people that are what they call, uh, what do they call it? Biz BDMs, business development managers. Um, and basically all their job is all day is to bring in new contracts, which may sound like, well, why do you need so many? But if you've got 400 agents going at the same time, you need somebody permanently, not only generating that business, but renewing it. Um, they have to have that client engagement on a regular basis. They need to go through any problems that are occurring um, because it's a constant fine tuning that makes it work. Um, a lot of people don't get it. They assume they just set up a call center, it just works. It doesn't. It, you need to invest time in the people. You need to get people to understand the product. You need to get uh, a trust relationship going with the client. Um, and the best people for it are expats. All right, thanks for watching.